So one of the fastest growing use cases for people using ArcSight is for origin and cause fire inspections. So these are people who come into a damaged area and need to mark up a floor plan and find out how the fire was started. Now the number one reason why so many people are drawn to ArcSight is because of the time that it saves them. In just one pass, you can capture photos, create that photo log you need. You can mark up a floor plan with the, the burn patterns or whatever you might need to indicate on the drawing. And then finally, you can write in all of the electrical. Now we've talked to a lot of people using ArcSight for this use case. And there's some people who, when they create the floor plan, go into a ton of detail. And some just do a basic outline and both are totally achievable in ArcSight. So I'm gonna try to do a rough drawing of the room that we're in here and pretend it's the scene of a fire. Just grab this door and then drag it in. There's a door right here and let's pretend there's a door right behind me. Now we got two doors. So the most important thing and I'm gonna kind of backtrack a little bit is when you open up your shapes, if you click this button here, you can see there's a whole fire toolkit as well. If we go to get more shapes, there's an electrical one too. And these come with a bunch of pre-baked shapes that'll help you document what's going on. So now that we have a rough drawing of the room complete, I wanna show you how powerful the photos tool is in ArcSight. I'm gonna go ahead and click the photo tool, and tap where I'm sitting, which is kind of in the middle of this room right here, and then take a photo. Um, we're gonna go ahead and say we're done with that photo and head back to the drawing. Now what's important about this camera icon is we wanna make sure that it shows where the picture was taken. So I can tap this and swivel to right here. So that shows that I'm facing that wall when I took the photo. Um, so now that I've taken that photo, there's a lot we can document. So let's say we need to annotate something. Let's go ahead and mark this wall and say, fire started here. You know, we probably wanna mark at the bottom too, so let's use the text tool. Just right down here, north wall. And then finally, let's just say I needed to, you know, really get in there and scribble some notes on here. We have just the basic draw tool. Um, say we want it a little more noticeable, so I'm gonna make it purple and say, we wanna draw the cable that's routed. Now let's move along and let's say I wanna do the, the, the wall over here as well. So I'm gonna tap the photo tool again and take another photo. So the wall right here, we have that saved, that's wonderful. So we saw photos, so cool that we can do that. Now, let's say we're marking up, we, we've indicated that you know on this wall, we think the fire might have started there. Um, uh, a lot of people who use ArcSight have uh, demonstrated they use O and V pattern to detect it, and they probably wanna mark that up on the floor plan. So I'm gonna show you how um, in our shapes folder, I'm gonna pop this open. Um, I'm gonna go to my shapes here, and what I did is grab that O pattern and V pattern, and just boom, I'm gonna click this, scale it down and say that right here on this wall is where we indicated that. And then let's pretend maybe, you know, over on the opposite side, we see this O, and I, I know this probably isn't the case, but, you know, just to get an idea, um, boom. So we've wrote those into the plan, and then let's go back to the fire shape that we had. And that shows that the the origin was probably here. So we have the fire found, <laughs> all right. Um, and then, you know, what I like here is we'll, we'll probably mark um, the fire hydrant and then let's say we wanna measure how close the fire hydrant was to the house. Um, we have this measure tool right here. Um, we've got distance already selected. So let's just say the closest to the door was 291 inches. <laughs> and of course, you can set the mode. It doesn't have to be inches, uh, you know, when you set up the, the document itself, when you start drawing, you can change it from feet to standard, you know, any type of measurement. So we just happen to be in inches right now. If we click export here, let's export it as a PDF. Um, we took two photos, so uh, showing two photos per page should be great. Um, let's click export. And I'm gonna email that to myself. 
And what's great is not only do you have what we marked up, those O pattern, those V pattern, the origin of the fire, the distance of the fire hydrant, you know, we have these photos that are numbered. So one correlates to one where you took that, so they know exactly what was taken from what angle. And, and that's your photo log done for you. So it's not just email, it's not just a single export. All of your team's drawings are shared in one account. Maybe you're handing off documents, everyone has access to the same folder. So if you have to go to the site again, you can just pick up right where the last inspector you know, left off. And this is just such the tip of the iceberg. There, there's so much more you can do, um, but hopefully this gave you an idea of how these people who are doing fire origin and cause are be, you know, transforming the way that they do their job. No more pens and paper, we, we don't do that anymore. Uh, so again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching.